Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Welcoming this new day, rain or shine. It's a day for us to renew ourselves from within. Every day is a new beginning. The past is a reference, but we shouldn't be living in the past. The future is going to come. There's no need to project ourselves there yet. What we need to do is to be ourselves in the present, co-creating. Because Jesus said, and I will quote, his very words, you are God's. Do not know, do you not know that the inheritance of a father is equally divided among his children? The misguided ones are those who are not able to take possession of their divine share. They exchange it for the satisfaction of their abusive or disorderly whims, for crime or egotism. They pay a high price for their voluntary decisions. Having examined the situation in this light, we must recognize in the world a vast school of regeneration, where all beings rehabilitate from the betrayal of their own duties. The earth, therefore, can be seen as a great hospital. Where sin is the disease of all, however, the gospel brings to the sick individual the effective remedy so that all roads are transformed into smooth paths of redemption. You are God's. Jesus is saying we have the power of co-creation. Right now, today, you and I are given a new beginning. It's a new opportunity. What do we do with the feelings about things of the past? We organize those emotions. And we begin anew. There's always a new opportunity ahead of us. An opportunity to reinvent ourselves. Do not allow others to define you. You and God are the ones co-creating your life. What people think of us, it's their opinion, not necessarily who we truly are. They don't even know themselves. How do they know ourselves, right? Most often we project ourselves onto others without noticing. And we make mistakes. The problem is when we make mistakes, and he says here that we are heirs of God. Thus, we need to co-create. And we must recognize the world as a vast school of regeneration. You and I are being asked to regenerate ourselves, to begin anew. What is to regenerate? It's to start again but start anew in a better way. God doesn't punish us. He gives us the remedies, yes, to adjust ourselves, the road of redemption. So let us feel right now that this shower of divine light is adjusting ourselves so we can co-create better. Shall we, friends, you and I, marching towards the beauty of this new road. Thank you, friends, for trusting in this message of Jesus. Why? Because we're stronger. We're stronger when we do. We, our reasoning tells us that there is a new beginning. Let us renew ourselves in prayer, in good actions, Good thoughts, good feelings, and good words. Shall we, friends? Mm -hmm. 
dear Mother, Father God, we feel your loving embrace and the beauty of your loving care. And we thank you for creating us, your co-creators. We're yet to perceive our potentialities. And we know it begins in our will. May we exercise goodwill during the day today and change the dispositions of our feelings, our thoughts, words, and actions. May you bless everyone whom we encounter. And we want to feel this envelopment of your love in our homes, in our relationships. And we visualize this light enveloping our nations, especially the United States of America. Thank you, dear God, for your loving presence. Thank you for blessing those who need the most and for asking us to reach out. May our homes be places of calmness and tranquility kindness and friendship and so be it joy 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 whenever we pray we feel this inner tranquility. So let us pray throughout the day as we work, as we take care of our duties and trust in God. God loves us so much. Let us feel this love and co-create after all. Your gods. Thank you, friends, for tuning in to Kardec Radio. And stay tuned because here there's always more to nourish our souls. Thank you.